Good morning, everybody. Hey, this is Tony here at Our Cabin Woods. Today, I'm going to start. A, I'm going to start two small. Well, I'm working on one project, and I'm going to start another small one, a small brooder, and um, something small, high up, so they don't have to bend over so far. And um, I think what I'm going to do is. I've got an old, it's, it's about a year old gas grill that rusted out. Um, I think if I take this screw out, this one and there's two more on this side, two more on the other, this top half raises off and that becomes a good frame to, to start building a small brooder. And um, you know make one probably stick it out a foot past each side. And then put like handles on this side. You can pick it up. And you can drag it around wherever you want it. Um, I think it'd be pretty cool. I Start from there. I'd be good with the good wheels, good roller. I made this uh, brooder right here. This one's really cool. It's super heavy duty. For the last though, I've done a set of uh, meat birds, turkeys, two sets of meat birds, and turkeys have been in here. Um, if it's cold, this comes off real easy, and this lid right here flips over, and you get the heat lamp that's in here. I built a cage. It's big enough so if the birds got hot in this area, it moved down in that area. So I got a bunch yeah. of old pallet wood left over. I may use that for that. So anyway, start on that. And what I'll do is eventually this beam and that beam will come out. I'm going to leave them in now until I get the measurement from inside the diameter. And I build the frame and then I'll go ahead and take those out slide that in so it encloses the back. But I am going to make this thing out of pallet wood. I've made that barn door up there for the chicken coop pallet wood. I'm going to make this pallet wood. Now, as you can see, here's your pallet planks. They're not straight. They're kind of crooked. So what I'm going to do is, let's see here, way back there, that piece of it, I guess you can call it plywood, but it's actually eighth inch um, cabinet woods, the back for your cabinets. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the frame and then I'm going to line the inside, or it'll be the outside, I'll line it, and then I'll put the pallet wood on top. That way, I just take my sawzall. If, you get, if they're loose already, I'll take it, try to pry up a little bit and give myself a little gap, which I did right there. Pry on it, get a gap, then you can slide the blade right in. And there it is, it's cut off that quick. Now I'll pull this apart a little bit and it gives you that little gap that you can slip your blade through the back. That makes it a lot easier. There we go. And as you can see, some of these aren't straight at all. And that's why I'm gonna line it. You look right down there, and it's not straight. But I'm gonna put the lining on the inside, or it'll be the inside of these. And put these on the outside. I don't look good. All, all right, right, this is the base. I have a problem with myself. Once I start get going, I don't stop to turn the cameras on. So I didn't turn this cameras on. Anyway, what I want to show you is, let me get this camera lowered down a little bit. It's still on a tripod. All right. <clears throat> what I've got here, I'm trying to use, of course, like I said, I'm going to use my, uh, the um, pallet sl uh, slot slats. And they are mainly about 47 inches. But what I've done was, because I want to trim all the edges, because some of them were split or whatever, I made this, this frame is at 46 and a half inches. So we're at 46 and a half inches. So I'll be able to cut off on each end a quarter inch, however I want to do it. It's going to be trimmed, but I just like to make it square and, you know, and good. Now also another thing is I've had to account for <coughs> the, um, this frame it's 16 and a half inches wide. We're at 16 and a half inches. So I have to account for the each one of these um, pallet pickets. This also the 
that uh, right there, plywood, which is a, it is a quarter inch thick, so it's a half inch. So by the time you do all that figuring out, this piece here, the frame, needs to be 14 and a quarter inches. I'm at 14 and a quarter. So that's going to account for the quarter inch piece of wood plus one slat um, from a pallet. So that should make up the difference to fit directly between that, that frame that I've got there. So now what I'm going to do is I want to make this bottom. This is going to be the bottom of it. And we're at 46 and a half inches right there. So now i got to go ahead and cut that. All right, I got that piece cut. Now I have to do a, this here is a, uh, it's 14 and three quarters wide. Perfect. Now, is that overkill for a bottom of that for a coop? Yeah, it is. But you know, it's what I have here. I don't have to buy nothing. And I've got a lot of it. So why not use it, you know? So anyway, here's the bottom. Looks good. Now I'm going to continue building up. And there's a top frame, top half, right there I've already got built. It's the same exact size as that, but that's going to be the top half. Alright. I am going to... I already cut this bottom play, uh, board, and, and once again, um, I didn't secure it down, but I had to put... I've got to put in the verticals boards. And I'm not a contractor, so I know I'll get a lot of people saying something. What I'll do is take my drill, drill that out a little bit, so they'll sit on there. So now these won't kick out, and then I'll screw these to the boards here. I'll glue them too. Everything I do on all the frame, on everything, I mean, you can see it right here. No matter what I build, there's always glue. There's glue right there. I glue. As you can see, I've got glue on there. I got my, and whenever I screw something together, I always do things always to pull the, uh, pull the wood tight and then I already got two holes, got one here and one over here. I have pre-drilled already. from sliding when you probably shoot the, the screws into the side. I've just always done that. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and attach this one. I finally pre-drilled this one. Okay, I'm gonna cut probably like a, I have some stripping over there. I'll probably go get it. I'll just put it between here and here on the other spot too. I believe those were, uh, uh, I got to tell you that right now, right here. 11 and 3 quarters. Yep. 11 and 3 quarters. So I'll go ahead and get stripped for this right here and here. to Keep that together. So I'll go get that done now. Once 
once again, as you see, I always use these. So I use this, squeeze it. You know, plywood and stuff, yeah, the screws will pull it down. But bigger boards, you really need to clamp it, screw it. Basically, bottom's on, everything's good. Top support, I mean, this thing's strong, it ain't going nowhere. See, I got the screws in here. I've already got them marked, I already got them pre drilled. I'm gonna glue it. Well, I mean, I got, I didn't pre drill the slide, I should have. We'll get one side at a time. Oh, that one's on. That's on. continue tape, uh, taping it, videoing it, and my neighbor came over, so I'll talk to him as I finished up. So anyway, we're framed up, it's all solid, it ain't going nowhere, it's all screwed and glued, 